Hi everybody, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel for another episode of The Witcher 3. Last time we kind of ended in the middle of a quest, which is very strange. I normally don't end in the middle of a quest line like that, but the last video was running so long and I know that it's about to get really juicy at this masquerade ball, if I had to guess. We're off with Triss, we're in a masquerade ball, and we're trying to uncover some of the secrets behind this lady who is attempting to help Triss get out of Novigrad. So we're at the ball, we played a few rounds of Gwent, which I don't think we're gonna be able to win the round of Gwent. Thank you guys so much for all of your tips and tricks about Gwent. Unfortunately, it's my fault. I have not been playing as much Gwent as I should be in this game. With that note, I just wanted to say that from now on, we will be playing one episode of Gwent, just like we did back in our first uh, few episodes. We will be definitely ending with a game of Gwent every single time now, no matter how much uh, time I've spent in the video, but I'm really looking forward to playing more Gwent. Unfortunately, since we can't win this round, I know I'm gonna be missing out on one of the Gwent cards that I could potentially win here. It's okay, it'll be fine. Um, I'm not really in it for gathering all of the Gwent cards that you can potentially do in the game. I just really enjoy playing Gwent. Been super excited to hop back into this episode today, so let's go. I'm tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Bellum's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. I wonder why we got that cutscene. That was an old one, back from like a while ago. Interesting. Okay. How goes it? Um, there's lots of stuff no, running around here. <laughs> All right, so there's the table where they're playing some Gwent that we're never gonna win. We're never gonna win a round of that one, unfortunately. We tried our hardest, but we just couldn't. We couldn't make it. The men of this family have little luck. Scar and Vagel, but died young. Do you think the women, they... Oh, I can't be certain. The women? Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Was he implying that they're murdering their family members? The Vanglebuds? I feel like that's what he was just saying. Uh, excuse me a moment. That must be her. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. <laughs> this Gwent Thank song playing just like not fit. <laughs> My valet warned me you every time. A friend, I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man, like no one else. Are there any signs of the hunters? Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Mm -hmm. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go get him. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Yeah, I'm sure people probably get wild here. Is he ready to leave? Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. Okay. How will we recognize him? What mask is he wearing? How will we recognize him? 
He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! <laughs> Let's go find him. I shall await word from him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's look for Albert. That's really funny. She got upset. Well. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like we have different areas that we can search for him. He's wearing a panther mask. That's not a panther. Look at all these people running around here. Look at all the food. Wow. Hey, look at Steekstra. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. <laughs> Geralt, damn it all. How do you recognize me? Uh, your voice. The mask your a pig. <laughs> unmistakable. Oh, yes. Those famous <laughs> witcher senses. Uh... Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuben. It can't be. Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. <laughs> my bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. He really does not like us. I can't tell if he hates us or if he just kind of, like, has that personality. So I think he hates us. Look at all this me. wine and dang. I normally don't eat any of this stuff, but wow, look at all the good food here. Don't mind if I do. I guess Stop we could like bottles. sell this to an well, inn. No, 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 no. Wow, lots of alcohol, me. lots of food. <laughs> Alright, so we can look for him over here. Is that a... No, that's a... That's a lion. Oh, we can actually talk to people. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Oh, by the gods! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not him. Wow. Way to go. Alright, who's this? That's another juggler. Look around. I don't think I see... Any kind of panther mask anywhere. Oh, that's cool. He's like seasoning the meat. <laughs> they must be the cooks. <laughs> I don't see any panther masks over here. Maybe he's this way. Oh, that looks like a panther mask. Yeah, that looks like a panther mask. Yes. That's definitely a panther. Um, nice mask. Nice mask. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at each other. Um, are you Albert? It looks like it's Albert. He's kind of immature, over here bragging, um, messing with the ladies. Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> it's definitely him. I am a black panther. Oh my count! Hmm. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. We need to talk about your excursion to Novigrad. Um, we probably shouldn't say that in front of people, so let's just say your mom sent us. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. 
Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. The Be hedge maze. There. Okay. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. He's going to be drunk when we come to get him, isn't he? He's going to be oh, hammered, I too. I the reason for this whole get-together. Want to wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Oh, did you now? Mm, I was going to get that herb, but that's okay. Late for supper again. All right, so let's see where this Time's spot in the garden and is. And wait on the bench. Hmm. This place is really cool. Hard finding work here, you know. Look at all this food. There's so much like food and wine and just like ambiance here. It's very cool. Oh, is this the bench? Okay. It's a nice party. Oh, we took our mask. mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Oh, yeah, that guy. Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? Where do you know him from? He kind of seemed like an a-hole, if I remember correctly. He kind of like blew her off and I don't know. He seemed very combative. Um, where do you know him from? How do you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Hmm. Did you turn him down? Seems the type. <laughs> I feel like I, if I ask her if she turned him down, she'll think I'm jealous. Seems the type. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Hmm. I got the impression that he doesn't like you. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Hmm. You're charismatic. Personal charm. They don't have anyone else. Um, I would say you're charismatic. She is very charismatic with the way that she carries herself. She kind of feels like safe. I don't know. Like her compared to Yen. And I know it's really hard not to compare them, but I mean, they're both our love interest. Um, Yen is very like deep. Like, I don't know if I would trust her right off the bat. There's something about Triss that is very charismatic. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. <laughs> of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> must be looking for his beloved. Is like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Is she okay? She's had a little Let's bit of go. wine. <laughs> oh. Um. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly yeah, as I Yeah, I was about did. to say, I think she's feeling it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Nude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Geralt. Oh my Tris, God. Wait. Geralt. Come Why on. is she running? 
Why are you running? Oh my god, we're gonna get in trouble. How did she get drunk so fast? She only had like one or two sips of wine. What's happening? I'm not losing. Gerald, coming? Wait, what was that? Oh, just some... Oh, sorry. Find your own damn I'm sorry. I thought something was happening over here. You guys were acting weird. Great, now I lost Triss. Gerald, coming? <laughs> Careful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought she was going to fall in the water. <laughs> Aww. Oh gosh. <gasps> not the time. Not the time. Oh no. I was going to kiss her, but I feel like I couldn't do it. Oh no. Now she's probably mad at us. This miracle at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under uh, such incredibly inopportune circumstances. The it's voice of Yen again. came and was like, don't do it. I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I'm gonna yell at you I later. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? She's mad. I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. She's so mad. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. We should have kissed her. I really like Triss a lot, but I'm so like standoffish towards her because I like, I just, I'm not a cheater. And I feel like it would be cheating on Yen because we already have like a standing relationship with her. And if we got involved with, with Triss again, Yen would be so pissed off. She would never trust us. And then we're not, we're not gonna hear the end of it. You promised to show me your laboratory, Albert! There you are, my love! What? Here you are. So, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I... Whoa, who's that? Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. The ability is mm. not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Doubt it. Come on! Come on! Come on! He's almost down. All right, there we go. Jeez. All right, he's down. He's almost down. Okay. Woo. Now we have to get out of the labyrinth. All right. Do they have anything on them? Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's keep going. Oh no. <laughs> You're stuck in the maze. Ooh, what's this? Enhanced necrophage oil. Nice. That was luck. Maybe we can get out this way. What? What? Oh my goodness. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. <gasps> um, I followed the yellow line last time and it didn't bring me to the correct place. But I'll follow it again. We'll see what happens. Okay, good. 
Uh, meet Tristan Albert in the stables. Okay. Look at the fireworks. They're really pretty. <laughs> All right, let me go down and find them. Got distracted by the fireworks. <laughs> Man, Tris is gonna be so upset with us that we didn't kiss her. It was the perfect opportunity and the perfect moment. Oh, I've begun to worry. I just get so like, I get so upset thinking that like Tris or Yen is like somewhere and we're just out here kissing Tris and I just get worried. I don't know. I just, I can't do it. I would much rather like end a relationship and be truthful and honest and be like, hey, I want to end this because I'm having feelings towards another person rather than acting on those feelings and things get messy and then they snowball and then people fight. And like, I think that life is too short to spend in drama and like you make your own drama. And if we would have kissed Tris, we would have been opening a worm of can a can of worms and oh i feel sad because she's going to be really upset with us and she's a really really great lady but we we would have to end things with dress before i could even explore or we would have to end things with yen before i can even think about exploring things with dress um i had a little problem some guys jumped me ran into some trouble hunters will they come here no, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, um, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. That's good. Now she can use it to get out of Novigrad. So where are we going? Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry. I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. <sighs> Makes me sad, but I think it was the best option. Just for the sake of not making waves. But it would have been really nice to kiss Triss. Well, they've gotten away safely. Trish should have. Oh man, there's our quest failure for collecting them all because we couldn't win that round of Gwent. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. So I think right. the next one that I'm gonna do is uh, maybe finish out this one. I'm not sure how much longer we have in Count Ruben's treasure, um, but we should go talk to Priscilla. And then we'll go do get junior after and see where we are on time after this, after we finish these main quest lines. All right, so let's track it. Where is Priscilla? Okay, so back in the town. All right. Is there anything nearby for me to pick up? There is some sort of like side quest down here. Oopsies. Let's go pick that up and then on our way um, to the town. Oh man, I hopefully Tris doesn't hate us after what happened. I hope she doesn't have any like harsh feelings towards us at all. I mean, she has to understand that, like, we are also, like, bound to Triss. I mean, to Yen in many different ways. And hopefully now that she has money and she can get out of Novigrad and be safe, she can make a 
a better life for herself out there instead of having to deal with everything that's going on in Novigrad right now it's really actually a very scary place for mages of any sort right now what is that oh okay they're just like soldiers they're they're a little bit lost. They're not sure which way to go. He said, no, the commander told me to go this way. <laughs> the book. You mean to patch your head out? Oh, this My must be the side quest. From his <laughs> with the book. Fetched enough to buy him a home. Stop chattering and help. Greetings. What is it? Hmm? Don't mind him. Sit with us. You're most welcome to. Though be warned, we're in the middle of some serious studying, as our learned companion calls it. Mm, okay, I'll be glad to join you. Thanks. Be happy to We're join you. We're still wearing our mask. What do they call you? <laughs> My name's not important. I'll be mysterious since I'm wearing a weird wolf mask. I'm no one special. <laughs> Fellow traveler, that's all. Fine thing, that. Sitting down with folk and not introducing yourself. Maybe you have something to hide. Not this again. If he doesn't want to, then he needn't talk. Indeed. It's rather suspicious. Uh-oh. Mighty suspicious. Best introduce yourself, mate. We don't like spies. Um, I'm Geralt. I'm a witcher. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. They call me Rufus, and this here learned fellow is Theophile Maria Roscoe, and, and this is... Uh... Sorry. Manfred. I'm Manfred. Uh, exactly. Uh... Geralt. I've heard that name before. You frequent the fairs? Nope. You've confused him with Gerard, the stage artist who indeed attends fairs and breaks wind to the tune of popular melodies. To the delight of the crowds, I'd add, our guest is none other than the White Wolf himself. Well, my apologies. Ain't you the one that... You know, the, the rumours about Foltest's death? No, wasn't me. Hmm. Mm, what's new in the world these days? This is a very interesting. Are we just plopping down for a chat with these with these guys? Any news of the war, for instance? They say the Black Ones will mount a new offensive soon to cross the Pontar. I bet diamonds to peanuts Radovid won't manage to repel this time. Such a shame, Henselt perished in Lormark. Blasted dragon slayer! Right, you are. With Hensel alive, Nilfgaard wouldn't have had it so easy in the east. The Emperor's sure to take Novigrad soon. He'll seize the Temple Vault, the City Armada, the West will be all but his as well. You know a lot for an ordinary merchant. I do. What of it, hmm? Just that it makes me like you even less. First you ask about the message I'm carrying. Now you say you're waiting for Nilfgaard to cross the Pontar. You better come with me. I know some people who'd want to talk to you. You'll have to kill me first. If needs must. Mm, hands off the merchant. Calm down, both of you. <laughs> Calm down, both of you. Relax. A misunderstanding. That's all this is. Hold him, Witcher. I'll find a rope. What? Ha! Not a chance! Oh, gosh. I'd rather stay out of this. I really don't want any of them to get hurt. Um, I'd rather stay out of this. What if I hold him and I'm I'm able to like let him go? I'm scared I won't be able to let him go. <laughs> I don't want to hold him down and then he gets like, you know, executed or whatever. He does seem kind of crazy. I don't know. I'll hold him. All Let's right. Try. I'll grab him. Most <gasps> you'll grab is your own cock. Okay, we're not grabbing anybody. <laughs> oh, man. Please, I don't want to fight you. Dang. Let's search his body. Might have been carrying documents, a message. You're on your own. Thanks for your help. One Nilf Guardian spy less. Take this. It ought to prove useful. Hmm. Okay, what did he give us? 
Skellige Gambeson diagram. Or Skellige. Mm, okay. Guardian Florins. Well, empty bottle and a Novigrad longsword. Okay. I don't know how else that was supposed to go, but that was an interesting encounter. I wonder if I let him go, if he would have been like a nice merchant to have along the line, along the way. Because it did say hands off the merchant. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't just make a mistake. What's happening Slower. up here? Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. Add it up for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. Hmm. Let them through. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. They're refugees. Let them pass. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. We got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We would be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. <laughs> but you, you was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Hmm. Good luck. Interesting. Okay. Near Crookback Bog? I wonder if we found that yet. All right, where's Roach? Been running into all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna follow this to talk to Priscilla. sell all of that food and wine that I just got <laughs> from the party and I'm gonna sell it to these guys here <laughs> in this uh in this bar ew he's like throwing up in the grass <laughs> wine. Wine. I want wine, um, damn it. are you the barkeep welcome to the seven cats the luckiest tavern in town they even say the hangovers are wine begets are lucky <laughs> All right, show me what you have. What's on the menu today? Ooh, she has Gwent cards. She has five of them. Nice. That's a good card. Very nice. All right, I'm going to sell her all of our food and drink. Okay. So long. So let's go ahead and get changed to... Uh, we need to put all of our Witcher gear back on. We've been running around in this crazy mask. Um, and our swords are still fine. Yeah. All right. Let me take this mask off. I guess we can just always wear a mask. There's like a whole mask slot. That's interesting. <laughs> um, okay. I'll slide off my saddle. All right, so where's God? A reaper's come for me. All the cats are hissing at us. Where is Roach? Roach? Strange. All right, let me just keep running out, running out, and see if. Eventually, Roach will catch up to us. 
Oh, right there. There she is. Okay. Alright, onward! The moon looks really cool tonight. we've ever come into the city this way before. Yeah, through like the bits first. I don't think we've ever been in this in this way. All right, you can chill here. Run, Roach. You can have some water, take a water break. I like just kind of like walking around the towns. I feel like riding a horse through the town is, I don't know, reckless. <laughs> what was that down there? Looks like, oh, maybe they have like a fire going or something. Gosh, these people. Could you imagine trying to sleep at night and someone outside of your window is like, I think I'll boost my trousers. <laughs> City life. All right, let's see. Where is Priscilla? She behind me? Oh, she's upstairs. Okay. Sorry, lady. Oh God, a reaper's come for me. Okay, is she over here or do I have to go up one more step? I think that she Let might actually live. be in here. Oh, yep, here she is. Go. Um, I think we've already asked how they met, right? I don't remember. Dandelion, how did you meet? Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Yeah, we've definitely asked her that before because I remember that response. <laughs> All right, we have some news about Dandelion. It's kind of not great Dandelion. news. Dandelion, I know where he is. What? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. Uh, but don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. All right. Take care now. It is a lot of things that have to come together in order for this to be successful. Um, not great. Definitely not great. All right, so let's go ahead and find out where they're hiding. So thanks to the lovely Priscilla, Geralt now knew Siri and I had struck a deal with Horson uh, Jr., one of the big four bosses of the Novigrad underworld. It seemed a simple matter of finding Horson, having a chat, and getting him out where to look for me. Getting out of him where to look for me. But in the Novigrad of the time, nothing was simple, and nothing was as it seemed. All right, so let's go search the arena i think that was the first place that it highlighted actually all three are on the map so we can go to whichever one first we'll just go to whichever one is closer oh god 
The reapers come for me. Do you seek to get me to the whole day? If I was seeking to get you word in, I believe I shall stop. Oh my gosh, there's someone just laying on the floor. <laughs> Could you imagine going into an establishment and people are just laying on the floor? My gosh. All right, so it looks like this one is highlighted for some reason. So maybe we'll just go where it tells us to go. Let's follow the dotted line. That's fine. I don't think there's any certain way to do this quest. So we're going to the arena first. Wait, what's interesting? Why did he say that? What is that? Looks like a drop of some sort. Negotiations? No, ne negoti- I can't talk today. <laughs> Normally, like, okay, at reading, I cannot, like, pronounce anything today. Negotiations with the trade corporation continue. The merchants have agreed to almost all of the emperor's conditions. Outlook positive. Rumors have abound that Radovid has found a way to get his hands on Novigrad. The key to Novigrad is the eternal fire. Control the hierarch, control the city. Ma that makes sense. A plan is in the works. Next message, the stash at Crippled Gates. Hmm. Crippled Gates, huh? It's way down there. Um, oops. I'm sorry. You actually creep me out. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go ahead and see what these hidden messages are. Because I'm actually very interested in hearing the rest of this spy story. It makes sense that in order to infiltrate Novigrad, you just get into the into the eternal fire. I mean, they're wackos. They're probably very easily swayed as long as you're on their side. Uh, the main thing that's wrong with... I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with cults, but that is like one of the main things. They're very easily infiltrated. Oh, there it is. Oh, a key. move this. The trade corporation is haggling about the price of its support for the emperor. The merchants want more influence in the east and south. Unsure how that will end. We know Hamelfart's weakness. You get our girl into the Vanglebud's bash. I'll put the kit and the coin in the stash in the Guildford sewers. Here's the key. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go take that loot. Well, well, then I'll have a freak. It's crazy how all of these, like, rich families are all tied in together in some form or another. They're always so tied together. I guess it's very relatable with real life. Alright, so I think it's, like, way up here at the entrance. That's where the sewers are, at least. About like 50 meters out. All right. So, oh yeah, we're right here. I remember going down here. <laughs> Use the ladder. Take the loot from the spy's chest. Okay. I don't think there was like anything. Oh, there is stuff in just here now. <laughs> well, how long you gonna make me wait? <laughs> it's funny that I just said that. I was like, I don't think there was anything in here last time. Because there definitely wasn't. I remember expecting monsters and not finding any. I thought it was gonna ignite it. <gasps> Seems the exchange is gonna be unsuccessful. 
Yeah, that's not good. No 50 crowns, lesser Stryborg rune. Some crap. Vile. The trade corporation has broken off negotiations. Inform the emperor immediately. He cannot be count. He cannot count on its support. Operation Hummelfart remains unchanged. All good to go on our side. Your girl better not let us down. Given the merchant's treachery, the outcome of the war might depend on it. What an interesting little side quest. Very nice. That was actually pretty cool. Alright, how do I get out of here? Because we dropped in through the ceiling, right? Oh, I can still climb up here. Alright. We have a lot of stuff that we can sell if we come across um, any merchants of any sort. Preferably, probably like a blacksmith of some sort. Okay. I know one of those keys we haven't used yet, and so I'm scared to sell the other ones or get rid of them because <laughs> I know that there's one that I have not used yet. And I don't know which one it is. Can't remember. All right, back to the Junior's Arena, because we definitely did not just get sidetracked by a side quest. They will never let your kind in, no Wonderful. Always happens. That's kind of cool that Gerald was like, what was that? Or that's interesting or something like that. Because otherwise I wouldn't have found that note. Oh, look at the dog. Right. Here. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in. And don't you fucking stand there. Um, let me in or die. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't use this in front of the other dude because of what happened last time, but I'm still going to, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I want my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Eagle. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. Okay. Well, it worked in front of them, so it's not true that it doesn't always work in front of other people because it just happened now. And we've definitely used that in front of somebody else again, like another time. It just so happened to be not the best time to do it when you're talking to people of the eternal fire. <laughs> Don't do it in front of the eternal fire people. Come on, get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. Talk to Igor. Alright, where the heck is Igor? Bandit. Dockhand. It is so grimy down here. Gross. Is that him on his throne? Oops, I don't want to steal. I just want to talk to him. Oh, he has a dog. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Mm, how about Horson Jr.? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I could be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. I don't need your advice. I don't want to be combative. Well, forget I said anything then. If you don't want my protection, fine. Fine. All in all, don't really care who I'm going to protect. Just looking for work. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's got to keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience? Um. I've done my fair share of fighting. 
done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you're managing a fight. If you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Uh, okay. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? I'm ready. Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Dang. Let's do this. You need to kill three people. Just to prove my worth? Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water. A witcher! A murderous mutant! His opponent, Gustav Rohn! A man who cut his so. way out of his mother's womb with a knife! As ever, a fight! Kill! Help! Kill! Help! Help! You knew the risks. The Witcher wins. Three children. That's so sad. Next fight. I hate this. Brawlers in battle. A fracas. A rumpus. A fray. The Witcher versus the two Harry people. Straight. That doesn't seem fair. Of Skellinger, sired by a mountain bear. They live to kill. Yield, or end like your brother. Never. Oh boy. <laughs> the Witcher wins again. Last breath. Never. Never. Next and then his head gets sliced off. The Witcher doing what he does best, face to face with beasts. He brought a grilled chicken sandwich. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a Worven. What the heck? Oh, that was easy. Bring in the fight. All right, so what are they going to stick these things on us? An Andrega? Oh my gosh. Ew. Okay. Shall I release Boris? Who's Boris? I thought we only had to survive three waves. This is like the fifth wave. Especially for you, for the first time in a long time. Release Boris. Okay, who the heck is Boris? Oh, it's a bear. Oh my God, these people are nuts. Level 12, they're not even like anything that's another win for the Witcher. crazy. All right, we're done. Jeez, just sticking everything on us. Men, brothers, monsters, bears. Bravo! Who's Blamin that? Scragdom Farrah. And tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Is that horse? Who are you? Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Oh, it's yeah, well, it is person. We've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's torso are in the sewers. 
they've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? So he knows that we're after him. There's no you tricking the him. Kill him. Things are about to get spicy. I'm gonna send everybody at us. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that one. I thought I had Quen on. Alright. You guys would probably not want to do this. <laughs> come on, come closer. Oh, doggy. No, doggy. No. It makes me so sad. Hmm. Fucking come on. I should search this hole. <laughs> that was a uh, very interesting last word to the battle there. Igor's key. Some crowns, some crap swords. Lots of people have chicken sandwiches on them here. All right, so we need to go find the hideout, right? Search the arena for information about Horson. Okay. Search the arena for information. Okay. So we're just going to look around for a little bit, right? There's nothing over here. Nothing here. Hmm, lots of ways to get out. Is this a lever? The floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. What is that? It's like a door, right? Can I blast through it? No. Hmm. What about if I ignite this one too? There we go. Strange. Why didn't that work if it's like lit up red? Hmm, okay. Maybe we'll come back there in a second. I don't want to leave that area. I feel like it's important. How am I gonna get in there? It looks like the Oh, okay. It had interact on there. And so, okay. Sheepskin, some vials, some water. Mysterious letter. To Horson Jr., King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. You are to rid the city of the other members of the so-called Big Four. Yet not only do you still live, do they still live, but you also now know of your role in their attempted assassination. That was not our arrangement. For the time being, hide in the place where the messengers delivering this missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight. His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted, yet flubbed so badly. Mm, the Big Four. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Yep. We leveled up to level 19. Let's go. Is that everything in here? Okay. Uh, talk to Dijkstra about Horson's ties in the Redanian to the Redanians. Okay. So let's make our way up here. Oh. 
We're not hurting the dwarves, right? Yeah, no, we're not hurting them. Okay. So dark in here. So dark and gross and dirty and bolt. All right, so let's keep going this way. I think this is the way we came in, right? Everything looks the same down here. Yeah, yeah, it was the way. Okay. All right, so let's go find the hideout next. I think that's where it's taking us. Nothing doing. Something rich. I do kind of want to talk to Dijkstra though and tell him what we found out before we run into him again. How far away is Dijkstra? Um. Oops. He's right here. I'm going to go talk to him first. If I can. Oh! A hearty thanks to you, Geralt. How do I get over there? Oops, sorry. Let's see. Maybe if I go right over here. Yeah, let me try to go like this way and then right. See if I can get there that way. Hopefully Dijkstra will be nicer to us since we're bringing him intel. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so maybe up this way. What's in there? Oh, he is in there. Okay. Does it suit you? They've burnt another at the stake. It's oh. dreadful. Sorry, lady. Alright, so he's below. How do I get to him? I can't even remember now. Oh. Ah, now she is Hmm. Maybe it will tell me. Like after we get on the quest line, I wish there was a way to switch around like what you were doing in the quest. So like if I wanted to, oh, there is. <laughs> All right. So let's go follow this marker. It'll probably tell us how to get there now, hopefully. Sometimes it gets a little wonky, but for the most part, it does a good job. At telling us where to go. Yeah, here's the bathhouse, okay. We made it. I just feel like that's really important information and we need to tell him as soon as possible. Um, where could he be? In here, maybe? Hmm. Did you see those poor wretches who fled Bella? How do I get... Black bodies, economically. Why so ...to him. Ooh. Oops, sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, he's in his office over here. Okay. I should have known. I thought he was going to be in the bath. I don't know. Do you want? He's in his office. Um, let's see. Master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. We've already talked to him about all of this stuff. I think that's why it's grayed out. Junior's working with the Radanians. Did you know? Wiley, Horson Junior. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. It is definitely reliable. What are you talking about? Spent years serving Radania. I'm going to say I got it from a reliable source. We have a letter. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians. I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. 
Oh, okay. So go talk to Vernon Roche in his partisan camp. I haven't talked to Vernon Roche in a while. He's not in Novigrad, is he? Yeah, he's like outside of Novigrad. Okay. So... I wonder why it's breaking the quest off like this. It's so strange. Because, like, we're trying to find him, but yet I can still go to his hideout and his casino. But then it's also, like, breaking out into, like, going to talk to Dijkstra, um, going to, to the partisan camp. So I'm guessing I should just keep doing this. And then we can go move on to the next places if we're unsuccessful here. So I think I'm going to go to a fast travel point. So if I keep going straight... And then we'll just kind of like fast travel over there to save time. Um, is it straight this way? Yeah, should be up here. The hierarch square. Yeah, it's up here to the left. All right, so let's fast travel. Where's the closest one? Probably Karsten. And then we'll go talk to... We'd have done talk to our friend Vernon Roche over there. See what he has to say. Oops, sorry, Roche. Go, go. Oh, look at all the... <gasps> Take it easy. Holy moly. The head on collision. <laughs> I was about to say, look at all the pretty horses out here. The wild horses. I just got headbutted by one of them. I would love to go to like a beach um, where they have wild horses and just like watch them. I think horses are so pretty. Can I get through here? Seems very thick. All right, so apparently we're here. Slow now. Okay. It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. Interesting hideout. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? Mm, what do you do here? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio. That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I Who's that? You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. <laughs> what do you do these days? What do you do here, Hunt Squirtel? Jest, right? Who cares about the Skyrim anymore? To marry you, that's what matters. How did you wind up here? Hiding. How did you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything, threw it all away to hell, and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Tamerian Army under John Natalis. 
We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blethana Mount Carbon line. <coughs> and we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Hmm, I'm looking for Willie, known as Horson Jr. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. So I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. All right. You our commander. Well, it's kind of crazy what's happened to this... This crew of people that were fighting, and now this is what they've turned ah! to. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? All right. How do I get out of here? It looks Messing like it kind of like of branches off into a bunch of different areas. Sorry. This is just like a sleeping area. We'll pay for the freedom area without blood. Is it that way? It's true, oh, is this way? You and our commander. What is that? This our band of merry men. Sparkly down there. Seems like a crack in the foundation or something. Okay, so we need to go back. We can actually fast travel um, and talk and meet Roach by the bridge in Oxenfurt. Because he's going to help us meet up with the contact. Um, Oxenfurt is way... Yeah, I was about to say Oxenfurt is like way down this way. Um, where could be the best place? We could actually just ride there. Yeah, let's just ride there. It's fine. It's not that far away. Faster. It is still like, I'm still very like weirded out that it's branching off into all of these different um, ways to complete this quest. It's very interesting. I wonder if we're like not going to be successful here finding Horson. Like, what is the point of embarking on this whole thing with Roche if we still have to go search his hideout and casino? Maybe you could have just, like, picked and chose which ones you wanted to do, and then they would have branched off from there. If so, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm very curious now. All right, we're about, like, 100 meters out. Mm, someone in my house is making some coffee. It smells delicious. It smells so good. Makes me want a cup. All right, so he should be here on the bridge somewhere. It's been a little bit since we've been to Oxenfurt. My contact should be there. Okay. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Who's the contact? Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Let's go. Come on. Vernon Roche. I remember reading about him. In the previous Something's Witchers. Not right. Yeah, this seems strange. There's a lot happening Let's outside. Mm, I think 
Eternal Fire, Redanian Army. Seems sketchy. Who is that? He looks important. They say it's the game of kings. The chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? For practice? A time killer? For company? No idea. He's not playing with anybody else. For practice? I mean, he that's kind of what it seems. For practice? To hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Mm. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open, squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Uh, I feel like I should be agreeable. Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. True. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I had no idea I was going to meet a king. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Horson Jr. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. This guy. Why would you just give me Horson? You'd just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. Hmm. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The big four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. Interesting. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Hopefully I didn't get him in trouble for bringing me along. I'm sure he didn't know it was going to be the king. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt. Come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Bess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Bess? Let me think about it. Okay. See you, Roach. Everyone wants favors. Don't you worry. 
Okay. So after we just discovered what we just discovered, um, wait, what's an eye for an eye? Meet Roche at his camp. Okay. Um, it's clear that if I would have gone to the casino first, or if I would have gone to the hideout first, then I probably would have gone on a different path. Maybe, maybe the note would have led us to the same place too, though. So very interesting. Another reason to play the game again, because <laughs> I want to know what the other side quests could have, like the other sides could have done. Yeah, see, like this is X'd out now. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and find uh, the horse's hideout. Go to the horse's hideout. It's like 140 meters out. Gangs of Novigrad was failed. That was a side quest. Try returning by see what we Alright. So the gangs live on to see another day, unfortunately. <sighs> Sorry, sir. Something slimy about you. Long live Radovid. Okay, there is a blacksmith up here, and I'm just gonna sell some stuff to him real quick. And also probably do some repairs. Ah, a customer. Show me what you got on offer. All right, I'm just going to sell all this crap. Okay. Farewell. All right, so everything's all repaired. We just sold a bunch of junk that we didn't need anymore. You were a wailing yesterday. What did they do? <laughs> My gosh. Honor in the fatherland. Pause. Only ever go. His Majesty the King Radovid is a... What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? Junior ought to know someone's sniffing around. These guys are so gross. Like, the fact that they do all this, like, Joker makeup stuff, it's just, it's so gross. <laughs> um, I'm here about the girls. That's what he said to say. Here to talk about the new girls for Horson. Never seen you here before. You know him. Can't say that I do. Your memories. <laughs> I am new. Um, I'm just gonna say I'm new. I'm new here. Yeah? What happened to Norbert? Cleaver happened to him. Poor sod. Better than to die of consumption. Remember? He looked a bit on the down slope. All right. But next time, remember to bring the tarts for Junior through the back by way of the old canal. Go through there. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. All right. So I can't go this way. I have to use the secret passage. Okay. Secret tunnels. I can't Stay wait until we can finally, mind. like, kill this guy. Him and his band of, like, idiots is just... The world would be better without them. <laughs> the world would be much better without them. Did someone just talk to me over here? The oh, okay. He was just calling me out. He was calling a kettle black. No, I'm just kidding. He was calling me, calling me out on the street. All right. <coughs> this door. Oh yeah, through here. Interesting place. Lands of the North, Velen. We've definitely already read that. Black pepper. Lots of food in here. The Chronicles of Redania. We've also read that too. I'm just going to take a look around for a little bit <laughs> and see if there's anything in here that I haven't seen yet. Pearls of the North. We've seen that too. Ballads and hymns. Pearls of the North. Oh, this is a really tiny bedroom. Brother Adalbert's bestiary? I don't think we've actually read this one before. Brother Adalbert's bestiary. Each beast herein described in two manners ye may hunt. Either seek ye tracks, follow and strike the foulness, 
Wherever it's... Oh, we've read this one. Just kidding. We've definitely read that one. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> this must be his, like, his sleep area, right? It's weird that he has a little bedroom next to here. Royal Lineage of the North. I remember reading that one. I wonder if there are any more books that we haven't read yet. <laughs> Collected verse. Yeah, Gonzo. Yeah, we read all of those. Is this like a balcony? Okay. So let's go back down. And we'll go through the weird tunnel here. Oop, I don't want to fall down. Oh, I'm already here. It's fine. Not that far. <laughs> okay. This is creepy. What's this? Hmm. Okay. Enhanced feline trousers. Let's go. That was a good find. It's so dark in here. Do I still have cats? Yep. Okay. What is this? Where are the women? Where's the ancient child? I'm Whoa. <laughs> Not sure why we're fighting, but okay. supposed to head up these stairs yeah this must be how I get inside okay I'm just gonna search this one area real quick because it looked like it kind of like branched off into a different section down here oh maybe it was just that window thing there is also this one down here too locked okay all right nothing else to dis to discover our cat eyes just ran out so that's good so let's go back can't see anything <laughs> let's go back in here and we'll go up the stairs it's so dark okay Search Horson Jr.'s residence. Okay. <gasps> oh, someone just ran after me out here. Wait, can I not get back in? Give okay, no I thought choice. I was locked out. <laughs> about me oh we can't block those okay wow that was a very intense death that's locked all right sorry i wanted to see what this was i think it's like a little garden area some spirits We're punching him to death. Take your sword out. What are you doing? <laughs> oh boy. Take your sword out. Alright. Nothing to loot. Mm. Who else? Is it that guy all the way over there? All right. 
I think I'm like not supposed to leave this area. I think it was lucky that I got into the house again. I think I might have just broken it again. This is unfortunate. You smell like dead That's mean. Took a shower today. All right, let's go get this dude. Maybe it'll let us inside the front door. Never find a witcher. Cause there's another door over here. Okay, nice. It let us in. Okay, there's like an upstairs area. That's where we killed that last guy. We went in that door already. That door is locked. There are like stairs or something. Wow. Fucking degenerate. <gasps> He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Oh my god. Look at that whore lady. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Nailed it to the wall. Oh my god. This guy needs to needs to die. What in the world? This is awful. What in the heck? I'm just scared to see what's happening in this room right here. Look at all this blood. <gasps> oh my God. Which fuck is this? <laughs> he deserved that. No, oh, fuck me. This guy is sick. This is so terrible. Help me for fuck's sake. He's killed no so many coming. people. So many women. A gross guy. Stop! No, you deserve to die. What? What do you want? Mm, I've come here to kill you. Hello, Junior. Been looking for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. This Got a room. few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. So terrible. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, I, I, I remember. Let me tell you why you shouldn't lie. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to talk to people I didn't want to talk to. Wouldn't normally talk to. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I hate the feet that are like swinging in the background there. It's just, it's so awful. 
I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Anything not to be in that room anymore. Temple Isle, a few weeks earlier. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, hey, Dandelion. It's Dandelion. You can't leave Dudu in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Hmm, pull yourself together. I'll go in alone. We'll manage this, I'm sure. Um, we'll manage this, I'm sure. Cheer you up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Oh, this is cool. And we're here with Dandelion. Can we talk to him again? This is cool. I mean, the circumstances are not, but I like playing a Siri. I think it's neat. All right, so let's get onto this roof here. Uh. <sighs> Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. Okay. It is kind of neat how they make her feel so different than Geralt. Like, when you play as Siri, it's very, like, she has, like, her tiptoe. Like, it just feels like, oh, I set off the Siri on my phone. <laughs> I was like, why did my phone just light up? Saying Siri, like, made it, made the Siri go on. Um, you just feel, like, more nimble. I don't know. Whereas Geralt is more, like, tanky. She just... I, it's just interesting. Even just doing this, like, small movement. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. It feels very different. They did a really good job at that. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. Is he gonna kill him? So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. So we fight him. I got you, you little whore. <laughs> Where's Ruvin's treasure? I'll get you, you little whore. Where's Ruvin's treasure? I'll get you, you little whore. Murdered him, then and there. She should have just killed him.
Who's that? Uh, they're coming. Oh, Do this. Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore. We need to watch out. I'm like so close to death. I wonder if I can use any of my loot. I'm like stuck on there. No, we just loot in general. All right, her health is kind of like coming back though. Um, where's the stairs? It's so dark. Ooh, I'm like stuck. I was stuck there. That was strange. I'm having like very strange movement problems. That's weird. I might die. weird i'm like i'm not sure if it's oh boy oh boy <laughs> i was having like she wasn't moving quickly at all like she's doing like the weird tiptoe i wonder if i accidentally hit control or something like that because she was doing like a strange like very slow movement and i wasn't even able to hold up my block when she was doing that it was very weird hopefully it was just because i accidentally clicked a wrong button that's it, you're in for it. On with it. Grab the cut. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna try to like run out of the room or like run into the corner of the room and then see if that like helps me at all. Plus we loaded in with like half health. She's doing the strange movement thing again. Okay. Um, okay. I think I might just try to like book it out and just try to like book it and leave, run outside maybe. I don't know if the, the door will open for us, but we should try. Cause I don't think, I think something's wrong with the movement. <laughs> No, keep going, keep going. Run. No, we can't. Okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, let me just like run around here for a second. See if I can fix it. Because like... When Geralt is doing the run thing, I just press like control or alt and then it, it changes it. But her, it's not working. It's very like slow. It's strange. Okay. I'm guessing there's more down there. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to try to like heal for a second and just keep running around. Yeah, the movements are just like very weird right now. I'm gonna stay here and heal for a second. 
but I'm not able to like block in time. Like I'm not blocking adequately um, when she does like her dodges. I don't know. It's just very, it's very slow strain. Okay, there we go. We're finally moving normal now. Except now it's like back to, to walking. So weird. Why? It's very strange. Hopefully we can just get through this part without dying but again. Okay, made it. Great, let's just get out of here. Let's leave. That was a very sticky situation. That's what happened. Told you true. Sticky, sticky situation. I think the mechanics weren't working correctly there for me, unfortunately. Doo-doo, what happened to him? Doo-doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There, one moment, gone the next. What happened to the ashen-haired woman? What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back. But she's alive, I swear it. Is that all? Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Hmm. I'm definitely going to kill him. I don't think that he deserves any mercy. Look at this room around us. Are you kidding me? You have to die. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. He doesn't deserve any sympathy. Look at this room. Look at what he's done. Look at how he acts, what he's conducting himself as, his whole crew and demeanor. It's disgusting. He grosses me out. He's the worst. The absolute worst. This is just, this is unacceptable. What is this? Vagobod Memorial Derby. New quests, the plays, the thing. I'm getting a lot of like pop-ups right now. Bolton Dubis's notes. Advice to my fellow tradesmen. Never take on a phylacticary repair job. Unless that is, you don't mind sleepless nights. Don't be fooled by the internal contraptions and complicated appearance. I have been struggling with these blasted phylactery for we two weeks now. I have used every tool I own, every trick I have ever learned, and I am no pink-cheeked novice. Having practiced this trade for a good 30 years, I will try next try applying a concentration of chestnut, but I have little hope it will do anything. So he did he not fix it completely? We also took it with us, right? Okay, let's get the heck out of this horrible, horrible room. I'm just looking for some loot. There's nothing over there. And I really just want to leave that room. I can't be in there anymore. All right, so now we got to go tell Priscilla um, what we learned about Doo Doo. Get the heck out of this area. All these people deserve to die. Keep it together, legs. Every last one of you. Uh. Alright, I'm leaving. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Already? Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? Yeah. No, he does not. <laughs> You'll come with us. Oh boy. That was fast. Did you mess Oxenford Tretagore? 
Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Mm. Okay. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. So we're meeting him on this boat. I wonder what he wants us to do. Why? What are? What can we do for him? <laughs> this is very interesting. It's also cool that we're meeting him on a boat. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. What do you want with Philippa? I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. Hmm. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Why is Philippa here? Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Mm okay. Mages are more likely to succeed. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. I agree to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities, cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Hmm, okay. What an interesting favor. I definitely didn't see that coming. Philippa Eilhart, one time advisor to King Vizimir II, called the just, the just. Member of Councils of Mages and later founder of the Lounge, uh, Lodge sorry, of Sorceresses, had played a momentous part in the history of the world as well as in Geralt's life. There could be no denying her talent, ne yet neither w could one claim that she did not also at times demonstrate sickly ambition. Very trustworthy reports indicated that she had a hand in King Vizimir II's death, and as a member of the Lodge, was implicated in the murder of two other monarchs as well, Damavend of Adenir and Foltest of Tamara. For this reason, the one-time jewel of the court of Tretikor had now was now a wanted woman, the quarry of special forces from the North, North and Nilfgaard alike. Vizimir's son and successor, Radovid V, were particularly eager to capture her. During their last encounter in Loch Mun, he had Philippa's eyes gouged out, and yet she had fled and wanted nothing more than to stick the head of Tratagor's jewel on a spike above the city gates. What a vicious woman. Radovid the Stern. It did not take long for King Radovid of Verdania to prove himself a hard and ruthless ruler, one fully deserving to be styled the Stern. His father, King Vizimir, was murdered when Radovid was quite young, and his mother, Hedwig of Melianor, and a regency council ruled in his stead. Young Radovid soon seized power in his own right, however, and wrought vengeance 
on those who had treated him with disrespect. He took to forcing all of his potential political opponents to swear allegiance or face death. He wagered war not only against Nilfgaard, but also against mages, whom he saw as the root of all evil. Radovid also made every effort to gain control over the free city of uh, Novigrad, whose fleet and treasury could tip the scales of the ongoing conflict in his favor. Funny how he uses mages in his fleet. Um, yeah. Geralt's meeting with Radovid confirmed the rumors circulating about the king's mental state. The Redanian monarch was a dangerous madman trapped in his own world of disturbing visions. This did not make him one jot less intelligent or cunning, however. Despite his mental afflictions, the king, the young king was manipulating his opponents like a highly skilled puppet master. Radovid burned with particular intense hostility, first kindled in his early childhood for the sorceress Philippa Eilhart. Rumors spoke of a special torture regimen he had prepared just for her. And while the two dozen uh, points they mentioned were surely an exaggeration, they accurately conveyed the general scale of his hatred. Very interesting. Vernon Roche, as commander of the Temerian Special Forces, an elite squadron also known as the Blue Stripes, Vernon Roche had been one of the King's Foltis, King Foltis' most trusted subordinates. Time and time again, Roche had proved himself loyal, effective, and thorough, uh, thoroughly professional. You could match his skills at subduing revolts, fighting off no guardians, or snuffing out bands of Skowetel. Skowetel. Some of these words I'm just never going to get right, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> they say them so fluidly, and then I just, I never get to actually say them out loud either, so I just kind of accept it, and then I never remember how to say it right. At the start of our story, however, he had lost his king, his men, and his homeland and so had restored a waging of guerrilla war against the overwhelming occupying forces. In his war of assassinations, ambushes, and night raids, Roche depended on Redanian help, though it was clear he took no pleasure from working with Radovid. Getting deeper into the story here. Much, much deeper. All right, how do I get off of here? Give me my weapons back. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Burn. All right. So. Pardon me. Which Geralt of Rivia? Who are you? No, a merchant from Lyria. No, Gerlet of Lyria. Gerlet. <laughs> she warned me. Of this sort of thing, that you might say so. I have a message for you. Garrett. Who from? Read it. You'll know. She? Perfumed letter. <gasps> oh, it's Triss. We need to talk as soon as possible. It's important. I'm guessing that's Triss Marigold. Sent by Triss. Must have been. I should find her. Mm, okay. Well, we're kind of nearing the end of today, so we're gonna go find someone to play a round of Gwent with. Um, guessing any kind of like merchant normally around here will play around with us. But I'm very interested to know what Triss wants. It's very interesting. She said it's important. I wonder if I can play with the barber. Let's see. Let's see if he'll play around with Gwent with us, Mr. Barber. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Oh no, it's just for haircuts. All right. I'm good with our hair. I don't think I'm gonna change it. I like our little so half ponytail, ponytail style. I think our beard has kind of grown out a bit, though. Does beard hair actually grow in this game over time? Or do, have I always had it this long? All right, let me take a look at the map and we'll see who can play us a round of Gwent over here. Probably the innkeep, if I had to guess, right? I forgot that we're in Oxborough. It's 
been a little bit since we've been here. Or Oxenfurt. Did I just call it Ox Oxboro? I have no idea where that came from. Oxenfurt. It's locked on this side, okay. All right, let's go around this way then. I don't think we've played a round of Gwen's at all in this town or city. Oh, maybe it's this entrance? Wow, it's intense. Wow. <laughs> oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Rock music in this era? Let's play Gwen. You play Gwent? Not with just anybody, and always for high stakes. With you, I might. I might. Let's play. I'll play on your terms. High stakes. Interesting. Okay. Opponent's leader cancels your leader's ability. Oh, dang. What an even the playing field type of card. Shoo. We have no special cards on this one. Dang. All right, let's just throw our... Uh, I'm going to throw this one out. Jeez. And I guess this one. Oh, cool. We pulled this card. This is a really good card to pull. Because this one lets me take cards, right? Yeah, draw two from the deck. Nice. Oops. Okay. Um, He's letting us start first. Let's throw these doubles down. a good first hand to draw let's go any place that's seven over there okay so he's just stacking up on cards pretty much we could do the same thing and get some cards back and just keep stacking our front row it looks like we're probably gonna win this round if i had to guess so we'll already get another card i wonder if i should forfeit already instead of wasting more cards watch him throw down like all of his cards <laughs> he has 12 cards right now holy hell um i'm gonna throw this i'll throw this one down just for good measure and then i'm gonna give up after that because it's a four and he doesn't have anything else on his deck yeah let's do that oh man okay <laughs> He passed. Okay, cool. So we have... We're going to get another one. So we're going to be back at 10 because we'll get one for winning. So that worked out. Okay. So let me see what we've got going on here. What does this one do? Place next to a car with the same name. I don't think we have another catapult on us. Lista tribute, no. Um, that's okay. We'll just place it. Choose one card from the discard pile and play it instantly. So will it play that card? Let's do it. Play it instantly. Oh, so we get to pick. Nice. Place on your opponent's battlefield and draw two of your total. I think we should do one like that. Let's do the seven because it's less um, than doing like a nine. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. More cards is always good. Choose one. Wait, what did that say? Oh, it's a play instantly. So they did the same one. Oh, dang. And they got more cards. Dang. Okay. Choose one card from the discard pile and play it instantly. Oh my goodness. They are just all of the cards all the time. It's nuts. Um, let's play this one just because. Just because. It's a little tiddly card. Doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And we can't use our... Our clear the weather over here. So let's not put any more in the back row. We could kind of focus on putting some stuff in the middle or the front row. Since we already have the front going. Do we have any stack ones like we couldn't put these together and they'll count for a double right yeah times two nice so we're back oh, dang. um could just keep stacking that middle row. The only thing that worries me is that he's gonna throw down another weather card in the middle and then he'll take over. Oops, I keep wanting to press that, but it doesn't mean what I think it means. Uh, let's just keep stacking this middle row. Let's just keep stacking it and see what happens. Because we have a five to play as well. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I called it. Dang. I really wish we had that clear weather now. Oh, what to do? What to do? He has eight cards. I could just put the one that we have up there in front, but it's not going to matter. It won't bump us up enough. We could just let him have this round. So that we can just play all of our cards on the last round and put it all on the table and hope that he's used all of his card, his good cards. Let's just do that. Let's go. Let's hold. Oh, wow. He's playing another. Oh, of course. One to get more cards. He has nine cards. It's insane. The master of picking up more and again jeez he's back at 10 already this is crazy let's just stack this back row for now he has all the cards all the moves two cards left he has seven okay we don't have it well we have this one to put in the front row which sucks but hopefully we're not gonna win no nope, there's no way he has five cards left unfortunate what a good game though what a good game we just need better cards We'll get there. Man. What a good game. Perhaps you should come back when you've got a better deck. Yes. Or when you learn to play. Also that. Very true. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hang out in this pub for a bit, grab a drink. Um and I'm gonna end it here. 
the barmaid do? Oh, okay. It's just because she's sweeping next to me. Well, she was in the other room doing something strange. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure today. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. With some of the main story, we finally got a lot of the main story quests done today, which was very nice. Maybe a step closer in finding Dandelion and Siri's fate. We got to play a Siri for a little bit today, which was also a lot of fun. I think next time we're just going to start off with this Mitris and see what she wanted in her letter. It seemed very important and she also perfumed it. And the title of this quest is called Now or Never. So I wonder if it's anything to do with like, come with me or should I stay? Should I go? I don't know. That's kind of like what I think it's going to be about. Something to do with her romance with us. Something about her leaving for a while because she now has enough money to do whatever she wants. She doesn't have to stay in Novigrad anymore. She said that she was given a lot of money in our last mission together. So... Now the world is kind of her oyster, and I wonder if she's going to try to take us with her or set up a relationship with us. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about our reaction to Triss, just because I'm curious what you guys think. But if she does, in this next letter, try to get us to romance her or something like that, I'm probably going to have the same reaction, unless... She says something very deep and um, I end up changing my mind. But honestly, all you guys have to blame for us, for Triss not working out with us is uh, Dandelion's girl Priscilla. <laughs> Her song about us and Yen kind of really just like tied it off together um, with me and how I feel about Yen in this game. Sure, I don't really agree with the way that she treats us but we have had moments of happiness sprinkled in with the sorrow and our relationship with her has never been an easy one it didn't start off that way it isn't going that way it's not going to end that way but yet we are still bound to her and love her unconditionally whether it's because of a spell or because that's just how we feel about yen in general but that is my decision for now with the whole Yen and Triss debacle. I hope that you guys aren't too angry or disappointed in the way that this is going. I hope that you guys enjoyed your time today. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.